the epic journey of the friendly floaties. China, December 1991. A toy factory loads a shipment of plastic rubber ducks ready for departure. They're hauled onto a container ship, ready for the long voyage across the oceans. Their destination is the United States. And although their journey is long, no one knew how long it would truly end up being. One night in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a wild storm rocked the boat. Several containers fell into the inky black water, including the ducks. They poured out into the ocean, covering it with thousands of floating bath toys. The journey of the so-called friendly floaties began. First, some ducks went south, eventually landing on the coast of Australia, Indonesia, and Japan a whole three months after they fell overboard. Some others went up to Alaska, eventually being frozen in a block of ice. They floated around in the frigid cold, covering two kilometers a day. Hawaii started to see some of the ocean-hardened bath toys wash up on their shore, and collectors in the USA started offering top dollar to anyone who found one. After five years at sea, those ducks, which had frozen in the north, re-entered the Atlantic Ocean and headed south. They were even spotted where the Titanic had sunk many decades prior. Luckily, the little ducks had survived the icebergs. Their adventure wasn't over yet, though. A few ducks started to head eastwards. After an amazing length of time in the open oceans, in July of 2007, an extraordinary 15 years after that fateful stormy night, their journey ended. Washing up on the shores of Scotland, they could finally relax with a glass of whiskey. They taught oceanographers a huge amount about the ocean and currents, information we would never have if these brave little ducks didn't go for a swim.